Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about wudu or ablution. Muslims must do this before they start their prayer. When they pray five times a day, they have to do wudu five times a day. Like I mentioned earlier, I mean in my previous videos, sometimes I mentioned how they don't do wudu according to Quran. They do wudu according to Sunnah. This is the problem. When you ask them which one has the highest authority, Quran or Sunnah, they will say Quran. But in reality, this is not what they practice. Let me show you. I will show you a video for children how to do wudu. It's about just over three minutes. Bear it with me and please pay attention so you know what is wrong with these Muslims. Let's start the video. Okay, now I'll teach you how to make wudu. It's important that you do the following steps in order, but before you start, you should make an intention to make wudu. You can do this by whispering to your heart. Step 1. Begin by saying Bismillah. Step 2. Completely wash your hands including your wrist and between the fingers. Do this three times. Step 3. Put water into your mouth with the right hand, swirl it around in your mouth, and then spit it out. Do this three times. Step four. Sniff water into your nose as far as you can with your right hand, then blow it out using your left hand. Do this three times. Step five. Wash your face completely from your forehead to your chin and from right ear to the left ear. If you have a beard, then run your wet fingers through it. Step 6. Wash your right arm, begin at the fingertips, washing your whole hand, arm and elbow. Do this three times, then wash your left arm in the same order. Step 7. Wipe your head starting at your fringe, move your hands to the back of your head and then back to the front of your fringe in one move. This is done once only. Step 8. Wipe the inside of both of your ears with your index finger, then the back of your ears with your thumb. This is done once. Step 9. Wash the right foot including your ankle. Make sure you wash between your toes using your small pinky finger. This is done three times. Do the same for your left foot. Step 10. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين. You can now pray as long as you don't break your wudu. There are four things that break your wudu. They are number one by using the toilet, number two by passing wind. Number three, by deep sleep. Number four, by falling unconscious. All right, there you go. The video is about three and a half minutes. So, you have, you have to wash your hands to your elbow three times. Blow your nose, I mean, three times, right? 
uh, rinse your mouth three times, blow your nose three times, and uh, all this. And some of, some of the moves actually only once. When you wash uh, your head, in one move from the front to the back, and then back to the front. And when you clean your ear, the inside of your ear, and then with the thumb on the outside of your ear, one move. But the rest three times. This is the problem. Let me show you from Surah Al Maida, verse six, how to do wudu according to Allah. Let us read. O oh, you who believe, when you prepare for prayer, wash your faces and your hands to the elbows. Rub your heads and your feet to the ankles. That's it. There's no three times. There's no one time. There's no rinsing mouth. Running water through your nose and then blow it three times. I, or you have to, with your pinky finger, you have to rub between your toes. It doesn't say that. So, Muslims do that because of the Sunnah of the Prophet. And like I said earlier, every Muslim knows that Quran has the highest authority. But do they follow Quran? No. Well, this is one out of many. They do so many rituals. This is one of them. They do so many rituals not accordingly to Quran. Anyway, that's all from me for tonight. Thank you for listening and watching, and thank you for your support, whether you're Muslim or a Christian. God bless you all. Have a nice life.